Good day, I am Gokwe Kamakubeni and here are your news headlines this hour. DA wants answers from Gauteng Education Department over drug problem at Soweto School. Gauteng Premier Makura issues stern warning to child abusers. Investigation revealed that communication breakdown led to Pretoria train crash. Greetings to you viewers at home. The DA says it will approach the Gauteng Education Department to find out why it hasn't tackled the drug problem at Cliffs Rate West High School. Gauteng DA Premier Candidate Solim Simang visited the school yesterday to find out why it was the worst performing school in the province. It achieved a metric pass rate of just over 43%. Gauteng Premier David Makura has used the start of the year 2019 academic year to warn those who abuse children at schools that they will face harsh consequences. Makura was speaking at the newly built Menzi Primary School in Zagane Eguruleni yesterday. He joined Education MEC Panyaza Sufi to officially open the 100 million state of the art institution. Premier Makura says that schools must be safe havens for children. A preliminary investigation by the Railway Safety Regulator has revealed that a communication breakdown between officials led to the Pretoria train crash that claimed three lives. Over 600 people were injured when two trains collided at the Wilmerton train station in Mountain View last Tuesday. Metro train... Metro rail train services between Mabopane and Pretoria station will remain closed until all repairs are concluded. Now let's take a look at your sports news with Tadwa Zimjali. Thank you, Kukwega. Good day. I'm Tatwa Simjali, and here are your sports news. Chiefs move up the log. Moko retires and Masuta gets sacked. In your soccer news, Kaiser Chiefs have moved to the fifth position on the log after beating log leaders Bid Vizvitz by two goals to nil. Amakosi's goals came from Leonard Castro in the 58th minute and Bule Ekstein in the 78th. Vitz needed to increase the gap between themselves and Orlando Pirates who are in second place. And in your cricket news, cricket all-rounder Albi Mokal has announced his retirement from all formats of cricket. The Giant Titans captain, who is the elder brother of retired Proteus fast bowler Morn Mokal, played one test, 58 ODIs and 50 T20s for South Africa between 2004 and 2014, where he took a combined 77 wickets. The 37-year-old made his final appearance for the Titans in October last year during the Abu Dhabi T20. And lastly, with your soccer news, Chipa Mbengesi is believed to have fired coach Joel Masuta and replaced him with former Bafana Bafana player Clinton Lawson, while Chipa Chief Operating Officer Lukanyo Mzizi said he could neither confirm nor deny Masuta's sacking. Masuta said he does not know of his sacking and only learned of the news on social media. This is the third coach to be fired by the club. That's all from the Sports Desk. It's back to you, Totega. Up next is your weather and traffic details with Gail Visaki. Good afternoon, I'm Gail Fasak. Enjoy your traffic and weather updates. When we take a look at central Johannesburg northbound at M1 Road, there's obstruction and slow-moving traffic at the interchange. Car drivers must drive carefully at the N12 Road due to crash on the ramp to N3 North at Galulis Interchange in Bedford View. Drivers should expect queuing traffic. In Edenvale, there's queuing traffic at the N12 Highway. When we look at the weather again in Johannesburg today, we are still experiencing a cloudy weather condition starting from 17 to 25 degrees Celsius. Back to you, Kukweka. And that is it from the news team and I. Goodbye.